Uh, it's my pleasure to share the stage with two guys who probably are as passionate, if not more, about big data than any I know. It also helps that you guys embody what uh, Hal Varian called is the sexiest job of the future. So <laughs> thanks for uh, uh, following the dress code and wearing black, and uh, glad looks, to be here. It looks like that's the dress of the audience. That's right. Too, so. that's right. Well, I want to start the, uh, the panel by posing a question to the two of you. It's an it's a idea that we have discussed often and come, uh, come at across from multiple dimensions, uh, open source, startup, and a very, very large technology company around data being the core strategic asset uh, and a driver of massive innovation in the 21st century. And probably a, a combined belief we have that this, uh, innovate, this driver of innovation and this revolution will transcend what we've seen in the valley and in the web properties to other verticals and industries. What are the two of you seeing happen, or what do you think are the key drivers to delivering this big data revolution beyond what we, uh, what we see in the valley to a host of other industries and verticals? Mike, I'll start with you. Well, you know, I, I think the web properties discovered large-scale data analysis problems earlier than the rest of the market. They weren't different. They were just kind of in the future. The industry generally, across lots of verticals, is discovering that there are sources and feeds and legacy repository archives that they'd like to be able to combine in new ways. Uh, and, and that's really what's driving investment, innovation, and reward out of the data sets. You know, I, I keep hearing people talk about big data, and we've been in this conversation for a year or so now. I don't actually like that term much. It's only big because we don't know how to deal with it yet. And mm -hmm. what big means is going to change over time as the hardware vendors and, and uh, the data providers sort of scale up what they do. You can have a lot of data. You can have complicated data. You can have really complicated analyses you want to do. Or you can just have modest sized combinations of stuff from different sources. And all of that can be a problem. So mm -hmm. we're looking for platforms and tools to digest that variety. And you may have one, two, or three of those problems, but those are the ones you want to solve. I actually had a great conversation with uh, Flip Cromer at InfoChimps last night. He talked about a mashup he had done combining basically geotagged uh, IP addresses with census data. If you're an advertiser, wouldn't it be nice to know the likelihood that a site visitor had been to college? Well, it turns out, you mash up those two data sets, you can figure that out. That's a kind of analysis that we haven't done before, mm -hmm. right? We'll be able to understand and use data in new ways, using new tools, and combining data from lots of sources. I think that's really going to be what's transformative. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. And I think what, as you saw, the properties come first in this, uh, web properties do it. It really is about new applications. And Mike's heard me talk about you're seeing Hadoop, you're seeing these technologies create a new platform for creating innovative applications, analytic applications. The analytic is too narrow. It is solving business problems. And for many people in this audience that are business professionals, you can think about your particular area, as Mike mentioned, and uh, you know, if you're in um, uh, journalism, as we've got a lot of folks here, computational journalism, how can I sift through information faster? Thinking about other industries like mergers and acquisitions, how can I read in lots of information? It's all about the application. So it's, you know, as always, leading edge comes from new companies that are starting up, and as, uh, as Amazon pointed out, Yelp and others. But now businesses have been scratching their head, people in this audience, on how can I get into this market? I've got particular data that I would like to get from different sources. And one of the things that Mike said um, is interesting. One of the questions I get when we're doing some of these uh, proof of concepts is, if you can do it with one data source, that's interesting. Can you do it with two or three data sources? And can you do it at my time and speed to market? That's a key critical factor. We weren't able to do that before. So many of the business opportunities out there that enterprises, businesses are seeing, they want to capitalize on that. Well, the, you guys br bring up a very interesting point. Uh, I call it the clash of the clouds. We're seeing this emergence of um, these massive sources of information but in pockets, right? There's, I mean, Google is the online cloud, right? And it has the online profile of the, of the universe, probably, not just the planet Earth. But uh, then there is a Facebook with a social profile. There are the retailers with your shopping profiles. There's the telcos with your GPS profiles. There's the financial service companies with your financial profiles. And it's an interesting uh, point that both of you made, and I think 
we see from, a, uh, from our vantage point, which is as these clouds of information collide or come together, one plus one is truly uh, transformational. It's not, it's, it's 11. Do you see that happening? Uh, leaving aside the obvious issues that I'm sure everybody talks about, but the opportunity. Are there business problems that big data enables you to deliver and solve that really could not be solved before, but can be now? Rod? Uh, the answer is yes. And I think one of the parts that we haven't touched on enough here is how people want to get insights, actionable insights from their data. So an example I mentioned is mergers and acquisitions. We got a request from a customer that said, could you read in all the patent office information so we could understand the ranking of our patents and maybe read in uh, Ninth District Court information on litigation. But that didn't happen as a request. That happened first on, can you show me the value of reading in patents? And the second one is, gee, now can I take those and find other information that I think is relevant to my business, and maybe is or isn't, but it shouldn't cost me a data center to go find it out. So the kind of this clash of the clouds is, you know, drive it by the business patterns you've got and by the time factors. What is it worth to you from a time of market? Mike? Yeah. I think that's right. I think a single data set isn't that interesting in isolation. I, th that's a generalization, but look, we've all been able to buy point solutions and do deep analyses, Absolutely. even a fairly large amounts of data for a few years. There's this aha moment we see in lots of deployments of Hadoop in particular. I mean, that's what we do in Absolutely. the big insight stuff that Rob delivers, where two or three data sets will be in the repository, and some analysts will go, oh, hey, you mean we've got geotagged X that we can combine with sentiment Y and we can understand how people feel by region? Wow, we never asked that kind of question before. I think that organizations have long hoarded and, and <laughs> curated and, and, and concentrated on the value of their own data. It will be increasingly important for the kinds of marketplaces that you heard talked about by the Microsoft speaker, InfoChimps and others, to open up APIs, to publish curated valuable data sets, and to find a way to deliver more of those over time. But combinations of information are where the real value is. I think that the challenge right now isn't so much in platform software. That's emerging, we've got some good answers. There aren't very many good exploration or analysis tools yet. IBM's done some really interesting work with Big Insights. Early, there are a few other specific Hadoop-focused analytics that are coming on the market, I think it's a pretty rich time in the industry generally. Packages like our uh, improvements to long-live packages like MicroStrategy, Informatic, and others, we're going to see an explosion of analyst-focused tools that are able to ingest data from lots more sources. We need new analyses and new interfaces to get at this stuff, much more than new platform investment right now. Right. I, I was asked to jazz up the crowd, and this is a layup for the two of you, right? I've gone on, on a limb and said this. Hadoop is going to be as big as Linux. Thoughts? Either of you. Well, dude, shoot high, will you? <laughs> Seriously. No. Look, I think that Linux has transformed the market, but really created a platform on which lots and lots of people have built businesses, value, application. For sure, that's going to happen with Hadoop. But hey, we're going to see a lot of other, I think, open source and platform innovation. The real value here, just as in the database market, by the way, is in applications, tools, analytics, right? You don't spend a lot of money on Oracle database. What you spend a lot of money is on is Oracle for financials, right? Those opportunities are the ones where I'd love to see more people investing. You know, Cloudera's all in on the platform. We think that's a great place for us to be. But to make this platform interesting and useful, we need to see investors and entrepreneurs go build new stuff that helps us exploit these platforms. I think there's a lot of money to be made out. That's a big IBM announcement coming on Hadoop. <laughs> well, we announced big insights you know, last year on this, but, but I agree with Mike. I think we're seeing this evolution of a new platform for applications. Mm -hmm. Hadoop is a big piece of it. It's a core part of it. But it is about these applications. And, and as Mike mentioned before, one of the interesting parts is how fast you can create those applications, how I can do that for my line of business, for my business professionals. That's where we want to be on this. We want to be talking to this audience next year about all the cool applications that you're going to see out there that you're building. And then you're going to tell us about the infrastructure. And, and, and one note about that, for those that are watching IBM and, and what's going with Watson and Jeopardy, um, that happens to be on Hadoop as well.
So you don't oh, think about is, that. That's airing in a couple of days. That's right? airing yeah, next if week. If you don't yeah. know about it, guys, this is good. This, Ken Jennings is on again. All by itself, that's a reason to tune in. <laughs> but that's an application. Whoop, my headpiece. My, that's an application, but we don't talk about the technology. Mm -hmm. That's where we want to get to. It's the solutions that are possible with this. That's the, you know, that's what excites us. Cool. Gentlemen, very well said. Uh, thanks for sharing the stage with us, and uh, thank you so much. Yeah, good job. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Wow, this is great. Thank you. Thank you.